start by truly loving start by having that sincereness when you say you love and this is where you can call yourself a bhakta really from that sincerity is and i'm not loving him because i want to have his darshan i'm not loving him because i want something from him i'm loving him because he's the only object of love nothing else and that object of love yeah he's the only the true love that's why the gopis you know when we were talking about the gopis they were men then they become women then they become whoever they become you know to show that all this drama of the outside but we have so much engaging our mind but yet we have not engaged our mind to know the reality we have not engaged our mind to know about that immortal self which resides within that atma that true self understand how important it is <laughs> you can't transcend that even if you want to transcend it well who want to transcend it is a limited mind no the unlimited mind don't want to transcend it the unlimited mind want to completely that mindless state want to completely be absorbed into that because it is only into that absorption that really he can find full satisfaction not in the game of now i'm happy tomorrow i'm not happy i'm not happy right now i want to fulfill that to be happy would you really be happy no there is no thank you you will lose one of the most precious thing many have tried and many have lost because they go into their weakness that is the weakness of the mind thinking yes if i stop that i will be happy no <laughs> and this is a mistake that many people do in chetan mahaprabhu's uh, life you know once he was uh, he fell down into the ocean and the fisherman caught him and brought him out so the moment they touch him because he was in the net the moment they touch him they were all infused with that love so there was night and did it let go of their fishing everything you know they could not do anything <laughs> they were fully saturated with love but their wife could not understand what is happening to our husband then they start blaming chetan mahaprabhu for it that this man it is him who have done that this is magic you know he have bewitched all of them and then they went to to chetan mahaprabhu said listen you are great purusha fine you have let go of everything you are living only for krishna it's okay but our husband they have family and we are their wife please we have only one thing release our husband husband was in bliss and the wife came they released them from that bliss so chetan mahaprabhu said okay easy get some rice some fruits from a material person materialistic person give it to your husband they will be fine so the wife did it 
and the loss of grace. Due to the influence of the outside. That's why once you attain to the grace, you have to be very cautious and very alert in things. You have to be very strong. In love, that's why I said, to love, you have to be very strong. If you are not strong, don't adventure on the path of love. And bhakti is such dangerous path. You know, if you are not strong, you adventure into that, you will get burned. Only when you're strong, you adventure into that. And that is why Bhagavan Krishna said, Bhakti is at top of all path. Because those who journey into the path of Bhakti, they fear nothing. Nothing can stop them. Be it Pralad, be it Dhruva, be it Gajendra, they don't fear anything. 